Right, I got a, a Henry there. Gonna have a look at it, but first I can't bloody move. Look, gonna have to make room. This is really annoying now. It's so annoying. Oh, an update on that um, keyboard. I got scammed by eBay. Right, the person's now won their request. So eBay have taken the money out of my account. Blah blah blah. The person is supposed to return it, and I'm paying for it. I ain't even got a choice to pay for the return. Then I, um, I sent a tweet to the eBay customer. Um, ask eBay thingamajig and they said oh that was the wrong decision but we can't re we can't reverse we can't stop it now because the other person's already printed the postage label so the scammers have won that's the way the cookie crumbles my friends that's a bit better I've got a bit of room right I managed to find myself this old um, Henry uh, I'll, there's a little bit of um, you know you get the big rubbish, the big um, skips, the lids on, more, mainly in industrial areas. Well I was walking around and I come across a couple so I had a rummage. There was a, a James in there, a blue James, I think it was a James, it was, it was definitely a James and it was blue. Um, you know, we took that, I took that somewhere and plugged it in, it wouldn't turn on, so I left it in the corner with the intention of taking it back. And somebody else has taken it. I know who's taken it. And uh, I said, if you can't get it working, I'll have it and I'll get it, I'll get it going. So he said, all right, he's going to give me that. And he's going to give me a Dyson that I gave him that he blew up. So anyway, I then found this one. It's a bit, a lot more worse for wear than the other one. It's full of glass and metal in there. Obviously the person's used it without a bag. Probably blown it up. And uh, that's why they put it in the skip it's been rained on it's been all kinds of stuff it's probably quite an old one because i didn't know they've done henry's yellow and with yellow writing but it might be a limited edition one or something i don't know it did have the cool rewind by the looks of it but the cord is long gone missing so i'm going to take it apart and see if i can get it to go stick a cord on it a bit of wire see if i can get it to work um, but who knows, who knows. Anyway, you lot about to tell me what one this is. All you pneumatic geeks out there, and there's plenty of them because you always comment. The switch is a bit stiff, but it works. Don't know what was supposed to go in there, some kind of plug, maybe, the plug for it. Why would the plug go in there if it comes up here? Out there. Don't know. It probably was. Might be an industrial one or something. There's no stickers on it or nothing for you lot to uh, feast your eyes on. Oh, there might be. Might just be covered up, maybe. Maybe that was where it used to be. I'll get a bit of brake cleaner on that and a bit of petrol. Handle snapped off. I just noticed that. Didn't notice that before. Handle's meant to go in there and there, but it snapped off. Anyway, it's a bit dirty. It's got a good hose on it, though. The hose is alright. I might get... I'm going to put that in some hot water, I think. Let's see if it's alright. Might... Might be alright for it. Wheels are intact. Don't seem to have any problem with them. Very scratched up and dirty. Don't know how well it's going to clean up. I'm not going to clean it tonight. I'm going to put this up on the bench and see if I can take it apart and see what's wrong inside. It's very rusty though. Very, very rusty in there. Look at all that rust. So, we'll have a look and see. Ah. Oh. By the way, for you crazy ones that wanted that washing machine, that washing machine video, you wouldn't believe. I've tried to do it three or four times now, and I did one, and literally when I played it back, there was so much noise in the background. Te the television, kids shouting, everybody talking, just noise, and it was ridiculous. You couldn't hear the washing machine, and people walking in front of the camera, and all kinds of stuff like, you know. So I scrapped that, and then I'd, it, then I had an hour on my own, so I put that, put it on then. Um, that one it didn't record. I thought I pressed record, but I didn't, so I sat there. Well, I didn't sit there. I went off, come back, expecting to have an hour's worth of bloody video. Nah, didn't record nothing. Then I'd done it again, and literally, it said I had 20 minutes, because the battery, I've only, I've sold all my cameras, right? I sold all my cameras, I've only got this one now. and the, But the battery's a bit funny on it. And it says it had 20 minutes to go. I put a 15 minute wash on and it died 
literally by the footage that I recall that I looked back at it died about a minute after I walked away so there we go that's the end of that I've tried it I might do it another day I don't know but that's the end of that before you stop before you lot start moaning about that again all right let's have a look we've got some maintenance what's this a uh, penetrating releasing fluid maintenance spray I'm gonna need that with tripod I won't need that in this video um, I need a rag I need that oh I won't need the light put that up there I need the cable tyres, they can go over there. All this is stuff when I was putting that power steering pipe on my car. I need to get I need to get uh, a belt and I need to get um, I need to get belt coolant. I've got some power steering fluid. Um, what else do I need to get? What else do I need to get? I need to get something else. What else do I need to get? A belt. Power steering fluid coolant. I don't know. I need to get something else, but I can't think what it was. Oh, a battery. That's it. Belt, power steering fluid, and a battery I need to get for that car. Anyway, right, let's take some of this apart, shall we? Have a look, see a lot of dirt in there, quite a bit wet as well. A bit of moisture around here. Look, it's obviously been used without a bag, very dirty, very, very dirty in there. I must point out that this was in the bit the skip of a um, a place that breaks cars, uh, they do a lot of banger racing as well, uh, hence why it was full of metal shavings, broken glass. Uh, just metal in there it's probably got a lot of metal shavings gone through this motor dirt glass swarf a lot of swarf I know there's definitely been a lot of swarf going through it bloody swarf gets everywhere oh look there's more screws down there right let's undo them see if we can get to the motor and uh, oh what's this uh, they're a bit loose look Lucy Lucy yeah Oh, shame I ain't got an airline in it, I'd blow it out. Oh well, let's get going! My camera's getting filthy. Look at that in there. <whistles> dirty, dirty. A lot of it. Swolf. Look at all the swolf. Swolf. All the swolf. That's, that's gone in there, man. Oh, look. Bit of stuff. Bit of stuff there. Bit of stuff. Bit of stuff there, look. They used it without a bag, didn't they? It went everywhere. Got all the swarf gone in there. It's probably uh, proper seized up. Like It might even just rattle like hell. Proper swarfed, mate. Proper swarfed, man. Oh, This is a bad one. Do I fix it? Or do I scrap it? I could put a cable on it, couldn't I? I wonder how much the proper cables are for these ones. Ooh. I think the cable obviously plugged in there, didn't it? Wherever it's gone, around here somewhere. Down there probably. Plugs in. If anyone's got a cable I can plug in and give it a test, let me know. If not, I'm just gonna hot wire it. 
not going to do it tonight. I'm not going to hot wire it tonight because, well, can't. Well, I've got a wire actually, I some wire. But um, it's very interesting to see how dirty it is in here. What does that say? D2104NJ. Pneumatic 240 volt. 22089400. Is that a number? Can we get an, any information from that number? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, mate, there's swarf everywhere. I love it. I was going to leave it there, but I decided I might. I thought this might be seized up. I was going to spray it in maintenance spray and penetrating fluid and leave it overnight. But it ain't, mate. It ain't bloody seized up, is it? It's just a bit rusty. But. Wonder if that bearing's knackered. Sounds a bit rough, doesn't it, eh? Might put a bit of oil on it. All those, all of you that are there go, don't oil electric motors. Be quiet. <coughs> I think I might oil it up. Leave it overnight. See if I can find a bit of electric cable. Give it a bit of a hot wire, see what happens. Because you never know, it might work. If it does, that'll be handy. If not, I'll have to get a new motor somewhere. I'll have to get a new motor. But is it worth getting a new motor if that bit don't scrub up? Oh, mate. Might just get a whole new top for it. That bin might come out alright. I'm going to give that a wash tomorrow, I think. It's dark now, man. It's well, it's well late now. <clears throat> give that a wash, though. So there we go, that's going to be part one, oh, I call it part one, I've still got a lot of other stuff to do but I don't know man, I've still got a lot of grinding and welding to do on that uh, project over there. But if I can get this going actually I might better sell it, give me a bit of money wouldn't it, raise it up after eBay scan me. There you go, sweet! Oh man, I'm actually pretty pleased that ain't seized up, I proper thought that was going to be seized up but it Properly thought that was going to be seized, but it ain't. Nice. You can see that number a bit more clearly now. Two two zero eight nine four G. I said G. D two one hundred and four N J. Whatever that means. Anything interesting? Probably the model number. The the, the motor. Who knows, man? Who knows? Henry in yellow. Sweet. <laughs>